My name is Jules. I'm a Radiant player. If you're enjoying this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. If you're interested in coaching yourself or want a chance to win free coaching, be sure to watch the end of the video for details. Other than that, enjoy the video. Okay, so they are a chamber player. Game starts here. I'm trying to find the game. Well, let me know. Let me know. Hey, windows down. Oh, great setup. Okay, this player's good. Quick with it. So we set up the trip. We use our TPs to set up the trip. Oh, okay. We're going to have the uh, top gen hold with a sheriff. Buy is great. Everything's looking good so far. Aries. Aries buy. Yeah. This, dude, so far, everything is great. Everything is great, right? Because like you don't want to push in the option someone's holding for you, and then you die, you give them a gun. Even though I know if this was a gun round, I would have recommended pushing, but it's not. Everything, dude, everything so far is good. Yep. All good, all good. Not over you. He's got a good viper wall. Oh, okay. Wait, this shot was fucking clean. What the fuck is that? Okay, only thing I would say, we need to set up our TPs here before we swing out like this. So. Spike planted. Yep. I can tell the round is won before it even happens, you know what I mean? It's over. Yo, 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 stop, stop playing around, bro. <laughs> Wait, this is actually funny. Wait, this is actually funny. <laughs> Wait, I'm doing this. Wait, I'm doing this. I'm doing this in my rank game. Wait, I'm 100%. <laughs> Oh my god, man. <laughs> you have abs on every photo. Wait, what's going on in the background here? Okay, so... Uh... I don't like this push. Alright, chat. Everyone, pop quiz, pop quiz. Why do I not like this push? Let's hear it. No TP, too greedy. You got numbers. Up numbers. Gun advantage. Up numbers and no one to trade him. No TP. All of you guys are actually right. Literally all of you guys, I think, are right for the most part. This was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, one, the biggest thing. You guys are up numbers. So, when you're up numbers, you don't need to play aggressive like this. Two, we have A on lockdown, right? A is ulted. We, there's a good, ch and there's three on A. There's a good chance they're not going to go A. And we don't have any info. So, when we don't have info, we're pushing up here. Their only option is what? B in mid, right? Uh, and by going and pushing up aggressive here, we risk this sort of 1v1 uh or even a 1v2 our tps aren't set up this is very risky for no reason at all um yeah and then he goes like you rotate your right foot like this bro said what you do to me <laughs> but this is not even smoking your wall you knife out oh that should have been a headshot i was out of that miss all right they're gonna we're way aiming way too high this is way too high of a crosshair placement I think our elevations with our cro our elevations are not. Look at this angle. This? Hold on. But this is not even smoking your wall, you <laughs> Night foul. That should have been a headshot. Anyway. Just laugh along because the This? No, this is way too high, man. You you think they're gonna jump up here before they swing you? Ah, uh, there's no way. Yeah, this is way too high of a crosshair placement. What you do to me? Oh, it's a good shot though. You got yours? Good stuff. Again? Do you enjoy coaching higher elo or lower? Uh, I don't really have a preference. Maybe higher. Even though, like, here's the thing with coaching higher elos, it doesn't do well on YouTube. Coaching high elos, it doesn't do that well on YouTube. People don't really care. If I coach a Radiant or a Mortal 3 player, no one really cares. They're just like, well, that's not my rank, I don't care. <laughs> it was only a kiss. It was only a kiss. Now I'm falling asleep. Okay, we need to be putting down our TPs. 100% we need to be putting down our TPs here. Yes, it gives away exactly where we are, but we're going to be tapping the bomb anyway. We need... Okay, if they're playing this correctly... Listen, listen, listen. This is important. It's a, You are in a 1v2 situation. 
if you are playing this, if the enemy team is playing this correctly, they're going to be playing off of each other. What does that mean? The second you make contact with one person, the second one's going to swing. You need to be ready to TP after you kill that first guy instantly. Uh, otherwise, you get traded, right? Uh, and without the TP, it's going to make this very, very hard to win. If they play this correctly, again. I mean, that's just hoping Ascendant players are not, you know, complete morons. So we'll find out. But yeah. Not anymore. Let's see what happens. I mean, that's tough. It wouldn't have mattered anyway, but. You want me to open my iPhone? You want to play? Oh my god. <laughs> This is actually so unlucky. <laughs> that This is actually a really unlucky timing. I mean, there's arguments to be had about, like, we even shouldn't even be pushing up. But I, I just think this was very unlucky timing. <laughs> like, that's just so unlucky. Yeah, definitely inside smoke. This dude's teammates are so annoying. I just can't even hear what the hell is going on. This is a good lurk. Oh, the timing is great. I don't have a flash. Oh, never mind. Fade. Ooh, <laughs> I don't have a. Close, close. Holy shit, dude! The fade is molding. The fade is molding. Look at where the trip is. Look where the trip is. Right, it's right on the right side of the thing, and look where it proc the fade. Literally max range, walking up mid here. So the trip was actually here, and she was trying to get close because it looks like she might have like a. Not a good gun, or I don't know what the hell is going on here. No, oh, she's a vandal. What is the fate doing? Fate is into. She is griefing. She's throwing the game. This is an inside job. Ooh, bunny she paid. A top screen. One enemy remaining. Bo bo bo. Three, two, one. Bo. This guy has his eyes open now. Why do you have? Why are they pushing me? They're pushing me. I'm blind. That's all true. Uh. Yo, you okay. Have you go back, go back, one go back, thing with spamming back, through the smoke, I, I don't actually like this spamming through the smoke. One, it gives away that you're here. Two, they could easily counter spam you. The thing that I always do with spamming smokes is like, if you are going to spam, you should be like further away from the obstructive view. So if Omen is here and you're here, the distance between you and the smoke is more than the distance between him and the obstructive view. So then it would be good. But if we're like here and we're spamming through the obstructed view and he's like way over here on top of uh ramp boiler, this is this range is a lot bigger. Does that make sense? So he's actually at an advantage. Basically, you appear bigger and it's easier for them to hit you than it is for you to hit them because they're smaller because they're further back. So every time you spam through smokes, this is how you should be thinking about it. Um uh, or spamming through walls or anything that obstructs your view, okay? It's the same reason you smoke bomb when playing post-plant, right? Uh, you smoke bomb because you don't know if they're on it or not. You don't get a visual representation if they're sticking it or not. That's why you smoke bomb. And they don't know exactly where you're diffusing it from if you are sticking it. Basically, it puts pressure on the enemy team. That's why you smoke bomb. The dude just jumped away. I got it. Gaz, yes, what's up? What's going on? I'm like ultra blind. Night me out with a primer. They're flanking. Thank you, thank you. They're gonna flank. Raise that zone, raise that zone. Oh, he's gonna ult, he's gonna ult once he's flat. Oh, we need to be helping our. Oh. Spike down A. Spike is down. Last player standing. Ah. 10 seconds left. Okay. Yeah, I would have went with my teammate here. So, it's 4v3. A couple of our teammates are low. We actually don't have sight. So, I think we went to watch flank a little bit too early. So, the idea, the rule of thumb with watching flank, yeah, it is good. You, one person needs to go watch flank, but this is a little bit pre premature. You need to watch flank after getting sight control. Sight control is the most important thing. After getting sight control, now we watch flank. This, I think, this rotation to go watch it was a little bit too early. And the calm about the flank wasn't a definite one. It was just a, they have been flanking a lot. So I, I don't like that. That was a ghost com. So uh, a couple things that you do really well, your aim. Your raw aim is actually very good. Flicks have been insane. Um, and uh, another thing too is your setups. Your setups on defensive side is pretty good for the most part. We're switching it up. We're not too 
Uh, obvious with our TPs, you know, we don't replicate it all too much. Uh, we're tripping stuff. Everything is set up before the round. So all of that is good. We have decent comms as well, too, uh, when it matters. One thing that you could do a little bit more is when you are dead and your team is playing, don't be afraid to give them comms as long as you're not suggesting them how to play, but just really relaying the information while they're playing. So then they don't have to calm while they're playing and they just focus on the playing part. So a big thing that I'm noticing a lot with your pushes, sometimes you're getting a little bit too aggressive when you don't need to. So a big thing with going aggressive, understand like how many are up, right? Like what's your numbers? Are we up numbers? Is it a 5v4 or 5v3? If it is, we don't have to get aggressive. We don't have to do anything risky. Also, if we don't have information, that is definitely a time we should not be pushing because you could be walking into a stack or a hold or they're about to explode, right? Like either case, it's not good for you. Uh, the only time you should be getting aggressive, maybe you are down numbers or it's even numbers. They're making a lot of noise on the other site. Now you can get aggressive, right? Uh, so that timing is 100%. Uh, I've noticed that a couple times in this game. Uh, another thing too with crosshair placement, sometimes with elevations, your crosshair placement is a little bit too high. So make sure that we're taking the elevations into account. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything else looks pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. W session, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. If you're interested in coaching yourself, click the link in the description, click the book a lesson button and select your plan in time. So if you want to win free coaching, be sure to comment down below your Discord name without the hashtag and what you learned from the video. I'll be picking out a person randomly.